In this video, we'll provide you with a comprehensive understanding of how CRAM works, its components, its role in modern warfare, and its impact on safety. Whether you're a military enthusiast or simply curious about the technology that keeps us safe, this video is for you. What is CRAM? CRAM, standing for Counter Rocket, Artillery, and Mortar, is an indirect fire protection capability weapon system developed in order to protect ground forces and forward operating bases from the threats of rockets, artilleries, and mortars. CRAM is not simply a single gun, rather it is made up of a variety of different systems which provide command and control capability along with the ability to sense incoming rounds, warn, respond, and intercept. CRAM components include the Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control Land-Based Phalanx Weapon System, Lightweight Counter Mortar Radars, Firefinder Radars, KA Band Multifunction Radio Frequency Systems, Air and Missile Defense Workstation, and several other components. A main component of the CRAM system is the LPWS. This has been modified from the U.S. Navy MK-15 Mod 29 Block IB Baseline 2 Close-In Weapon System. Another component, the M61A1 20mm Gatling Gun, is capable of acquiring its target and firing at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. The Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control System integrates the sensors, weapons, and warning systems to intercept incoming rocket and artillery. One major difference between the land and sea-based systems is the choice of ammunition. The naval phalanx system fires tungsten armor-piercing rounds, while the CRAM uses 20mm HEITSD ammunition. These rounds explode on impact or on tracer burnout, reducing the risk of collateral damage if rounds fail to hit their target. The CRAM's naval equivalent, the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, was first developed as an automated weapons defense system in 1973 and incorporated a 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun autocannon used since 1959. The Navy Phalanx System was first appraised as possible ground-based variant in 2004. Phalanx was selected partly because it could readily be interfaced with a multitude of sensors and systems designed to provide an overarching protection umbrella of sites on the ground. In its land-based configuration, the LPWS system is mounted on a wheeled platform in order to provide enhanced stability on site and mobility for repositioning and deployment. The Centurion C-Ram can, for example, be mounted on a trailer or the rear side of the Oshkosh truck. In October 2008, Raytheon and Oshkosh unveiled the Mobile Centurion, which mounts the system on a hybrid electric HEMTT A3 heavy truck. The first battle-ready C-Ram system was deployed to Iraq in 2010 in order to protect the Green Zone, an area in Baghdad used as an American embassy. Trials of this system showed that it was capable of knocking out 70-80% to 80 of rockets and mortar shells fired within its area of control. As of 2013, the Army Acquisition Executive designated CRAM Intercept an Army Acquisition Program and authorized fielding of LPWS guns and support equipment to the IFPC slash Avenger Battalions. Fielding is ongoing. How does the CRAM weapon system work? Like its naval counterpart, the CRAM utilizes advanced search and track two-band radar systems that feature closed-loop spotting technology to automatically acquire and track targets and engage them. Kuband, in case you were not aware, is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum in the microwave range of frequencies between 12 and 18 gigahertz. The system can also be integrated with an array of sensors and systems to help provide an overarching protective umbrella to protect a given location on the ground. The weapon's primary armament is the 20mm Vulcan Gatling gun. It consists of six optimized barrels augmented with forward-looking infrared sensors. The barrels are secured together at the muzzle, mid-barrel, and breached to provide enhanced accuracy and enabled fire to constrain shot dispersion patterns. The M61 is a hydraulically, electrically, and pneumatically driven air-cooled, electrically fired Gatling-style rotary cannon that has been in used in one form or another on various fixed-wing military aircraft, tanks, and ships for over five decades. It was originally produced by General Electric. 
The US Army also uses the M61 in the M167 and M163 air defense systems as the primary gun systems on the F-14, F-15, F-16, and F-18 fighters of the USAF. The gun is also used as the tail gun on the B-52H bomber, while a lightweight variant is used on the F-22 Raptor fighter. But all that firepower is also half the story. If you can't track and accurately put the cannon rounds in the right place at the right time, you basically have a fancy piece of pyrotechnics. This is achieved through a combination of advanced sensors that enables the CRAM to simultaneously search, track, engage in oncoming targets, and prioritize targets and make kill assessments in both daytime and nighttime. CRAM's Kuban radar system enables the weapon system to detect potential threats early in their flight and then pass on their trajectory and vector data to the system's tracking algorithms only when it judges them to be a real and present danger. Target tracking and engagement is further enhanced by a sophisticated thermal imaging system to help improve targeting. This system operates in the 8 to 12 micron wavelength range and is mounted on a stabilized pedestal attached to the weapon's main antenna radome. It also provides very reliable night and day passive search and tracking, while also improving the overall anti-air warfare performance of the system in multi-path environments. Other tracking systems integrated into the Centurion CRAM system include Northrop Grumman's ANTPQ-36 short-range firefinder radar and the lightweight counter-mortar radar to detect and track fired rounds. This hardware is controlled by fire control subsystems like Northrop Grumman's Mission Systems Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control System, which ties together the sensors and weapons of the Army Short Range Air Defense Battalions. If you found this video informative and intriguing, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe for more in depth explorations of military technology and defense systems. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, Stay curious and stay informed.